another step forward. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least... Give it a good whack. Calm down. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. No helping it. We're exposed now. Wait, that's up for discussion. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltera. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Sorry, love. I just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. Are you all right? Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. 
Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. You're going to get us killed. Careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Pet. Hmm. No helping it. We're exposed now. Arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. guard is impassive. Your little speech was unconvincing. You're gonna be sorry! Every last one of you! I don't like the look of that mushroom. I should stay clear. I'm gonna find 
This way. Oh. Oh. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. No bother. We're just daydreaming anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? God, that sounds like heaven. Won't be long now. One more trip, then we can really rest. No helping it. We're exposed now. Give it a try. What would we do for work when we get to the city? Whatever we want. I think I'd make a fine teacher. I'd better take a peek. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Ah, I've already spoken to your traveling companion. Well met. Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. No word from the scouts yet. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. 
<laughs> there's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red means. Now, that's a different thing. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure for the fish. Oh, the fish is dead. Well, that's You open, shall we?
moving in. Shoes. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies and. Look, don't take your eyes off my hand. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We could have taken those guys. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Need to keep going. Ah. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove, or face our claws. Do you mind? Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? Let's see what we have here. Keep their confidence if you insist. Sylvanas, the forest. Not everyone subscribes to what is. Speak. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Corga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Halsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing, but he never returned. The ritual is Corgus' decision. 
But she is not our leader. Master Halsin welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. our conversation, please do find someone else. I do. <laughs> of 
fools these mortals be. Fancy their chances. Got to keep fighting. Ah! Hungry for the soup, sir.
pushing. through the telescope. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right. The telescope points to the right. Check for anything useful. gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve Tiflin if you ever had it to begin with I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Here it comes, you little beast. Not 
not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect, or some more cunning. That goblin won't be the last. Now is not the time. The pet speaks. Adorable. Now send over your owner before you make a mess of things. So that's progress. Looking ahead. What am I to do? My dagger. Salutations. Trust no one.
learning about my magic. move. Wits and blades always sharp. Have a lot on my mind. In it. I'm ready. I'm sure.
Let's hope for gold. Moments away from grisly death at the hands. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot if you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes, yes! Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will 
time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. It was awful. I couldn't look at a lute without hearing her screaming. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. <laughs> <laughs> 